Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this dress. Now this dress in this photo here is my maxi dress and I love this dress how it comes out. This is a simple easy and quick um, dress that I make with a Rayan lightweight fabric. I love the print of this fabric so today I'm going to show you how to cut this easy and quick dress. So let's get started in cutting this dress that i made now if this is your first time here please subscribe to my channel and please hit the notification bell now this is a piece of rayon fabric i pick up from my local um, fabric store and as you can see it's a lightweight fabric and i am pressing it out so that it won't have any wrinkle on it so that the fabric can lie flat when i ready to cut it out now i found um, this is a this is three yards of fabric that i have here but I cut a little piece from it and I still have this piece. Now I have this piece of fabric in my stash a very long time. But over three years now I have this piece of fabric that I pick up from my local fabric store. And I didn't know what to make with it. I just saw the fabric. I like it and I decided to purchase it. You know sometimes you are not ready to sew anything with the fabric you purchase until when that day come and you click and you realize what you want. So this is a floral piece of um rayon fabric lightweight i have here and i want to make this maxi dress that i showed you earlier in the photo now this is a simple and easy quick dress i make i just fold the fabric in two and then i fold it in two again so i have four pieces of fabric as you will see i'm doing here i'm trying to smooth the fabric out on the table so that i can get a uh, get the fabric to line up properly so i fold the fabric in four so I fold two and then I go on a fold two again. So I'm having it on the fold as you can see. I'm looking to see where the flower running if it's up or down or sideways. And that is the main focus. When you buy a printed fabric, always look for see where the flowers or the print or wherever, which direction it's running in. Because it doesn't want to cut the um, print going down. You want it to cut cut running upwards your body not downwards your body else that would look very bad now i'm gonna cut this dress you remember the pattern we draft out and we um we um grid up i'm gonna use one of those patterns i'm using the size um 16 or the size the size 16 or the size 18 i think i have here so i use the size 18 in this um pattern here and I go up one, yes, the size 18 I have on the fabric. So I lay it on the fabric, right? So my fabric is 60 inches long and I have 60 inches wide. And I have three yards of this print fabric. Now I'm making sure that the floor run in the upward direction of my body. So I measure out the fabric, right? And I'm going to measure down how long I want this dress. So I place the pattern that we um, grid up. I'm using size 18 as I said to get a flowy dress so I can use a band to bring it into what um, I want on my waist. As I don't like my straight dress too tight because of my shape, it doesn't sit down properly if I cut it very tight. So I have to make something flowy and then get a belt or a band to bring it in to suit my waist. So I'm going to measure the length of this dress. I need it to right to my um, ankle so a little above my ankle so i'm going to measure down the dress the longest the fabric can go and then i'm going to cut the dress out as you see me here measuring down the dress and i use one of the bodice pattern that we grid up from the tools the tools fully i'll put the link as well below this video and you can still get that um rulers for free for um a discount sorry you still have a discount you can get the ruler for when you buy the set you get the ruler for 20 percent off the deal still going on so you can go ahead and buy the ruler that we upgrade this um we grade up the pattern with because it's one of those pattern i'm using the bodice so i measure down the fabric to cut the length of the dress as you see me do here now my table is very narrow and it's very small so what i have to do is measure down the fabric and then roll the fabric up to get to the length as you will see i do in a while to cut the length of the dress that I need. So continue measuring and fold. You see, like I roll up my fabric here, I fold it when I get the length so I can cut it out properly. So measure your fabric, make sure your fabric is 
to have the full you see i have two, two piece and then i have the other piece full so when i don't cut all the dress i will have two um dress two pieces right one for the back and one for the front but since i have it on the full when i cut the dress there's only one end i would have open the back and the front will be on the full i like it this week i don't have to still um sew a back seam just one seam i have to sew so i'm fixing my fabric here since this is a lightweight fabric you gotta make sure it lie properly so get your ruler and mark out to get the straight line so that you can measure out the dress the length that you need and you will so that the line could be straight so as you can see i fix in my fabric to make sure that i cut it properly and you want to cut it you don't want to cut piece of the flower off so as you see me doing here i drawing in a line so i can cut it properly because remember there is two um print in right in between so this is the length of the dress i want and i still left with a piece of fabric so that i can make the band later now i'm going to pull the dress down and i'm going to cut out the um neck i'm going to cut out the armhole as you guys will see me doing here that's all i'm going to cut out from the dress the neck and the armhole i'm not shaping the dress to the bodice bottom i want the dress to be wide so it can be a flowy dress so that i can tie it with a belt and get the um the nice look that i need i don't want the dress too tight i want it flowy and i want it to tie with a belt so you can go ahead as you see i doing here and i'm going to cut out the shoulder of the dress remember this pattern i already have seam allowance after we upgraded it and we cut out all the size we did add a seam allowance on this pattern so i'm going to cut out the arm armhole now that i need here so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw the armhole right out to the edge of the fabric and i'm going to cut that armhole wide the reason why i'm cutting this armhole wide is because i want to add an elastic to the armhole and to the neck as well so i'm finished cutting this as you see i didn't shape the dress i just cut the dress square right and then i'll add an elastic to the armhole and to the neck as well so as you see we have the dress here so i'm going to show you that i have this dress you see it on a fold and you see i have it one side to sew down because the other side it's on a fold so the dress cut i fold the fabric in two and then fold it in two again so as you can see so i'm going to place the dress to the right right side to right side and then we're going to stitch down the side of this dress so make sure you get the shoulder pin together make sure you get the armhole together and then make sure everything line up as you see i doing here i'm making sure everything line up now the armhole gonna be bigger wider than my normal arm armhole but that's okay because i'm putting an elastic so you'll put your two sides together right side together and you'll go and stitch down the side and stitch down your armhole so make sure you see watch my back is on a fold here and what the front is on a fold so I will grab this and I will pin the two shoulder together. So get your fabric and you will pin the two shoulder together. So make sure your two shoulder is the right shoulder you pin together. So you have the back on a fold and the front of the fold. So you will use one side for one side for the back and one side for the front. And the back neck and the front neck, I make it the same. So I can get around the elastic inside and it don't pull up and be a nice neck elastic neck i will get so i'm going to fold the fabric to the side and i'm going to go and sew down the side seam right down so i'm going to grab my um sewing machine and we're going to sew down the side seam of the dress so place your fabric under your sewing machine and then you will sew down the side of the dress now i'm sewing half in seam allowance in this side of this dress because I don't want the dress to be too tight. I want a flowy dress. So what I'm doing here, I'm sewing down half inch on the side of this dress here. And I'm going to stitch it to make sure that it's even. So stitch down the side of your dress. The half inch seam allowance. As you see me doing here. I'm sewing down the side of my dress. Now this is a very lightweight fabric, but it's not too light that you can't handle. It's a lightweight, but yes, it, it, it but yet it have a little body to it. 
it have a nice flow i love the print of this fabric now i have this fabric about two years now as i said line up the bottom of your dress and stitch it properly and this is a very lovely lovely piece of fabric when you reach your end back stitch and take it out now in this part go <coughs> and stitch the shoulder of your dress so as you can see again the shoulder of the dress fit the shoulder make sure it's even and you're going to place it under your sewing machine and you're going to stitch half inch as well you're going to stitch half inch as well with this arm to the shoulder now you're going to do both sides your shoulder like this grab and close up both the shoulders as you see me doing here and stitch the same half inch on the other shoulder as well so both would be balanced so grab your um back stitch when you meet the end and now what you're going to do here you're going to go and try on the dress and make sure the dress like you like the fit that you get now i went and i try on my own and then i had to take in a little piece more because the hip was a kind of had a kind of poco by the hip so i just take in a little half inch more by right down from the armhole right down to the uh, bottom of the dress and it was okay for me so what I'm doing here, I'm measuring the waist. Here, that is, yeah, I'm measuring the waist to make sure where my waistline is. Because what happened here, <coughs> I wanted to add an elastic in the waist, but then I changed my mind because I don't want it to pull in on my body to make the bottom too tight, to be too tight. So I decided to add a band to the dress. So what you see I doing here is to put the, where I want the elastic for be. But I changed my mind from this elastic. But if you want to put an elastic in your waist, this is what you will do. Measure down and mark a one inch below the top. Mark an inch below the top. Get your ruler and mark out this line. You have to put the elastic where the waistline is. So that this is what I am marking out. And I drop the, the waistline one inches so that the elastic would go. won't come up to my stomach and then I might measure next inches away from that line that I drew to place the elastic in between but as I said I didn't bother with the elastic I changed my mind but I'm still showing you what you can do in case you want to add an elastic to your dress this is what um, you will do to add the elastic to the dress so just mark your lines and you're going to place it on the other side of the, the, the dress. So what I'm doing here, I'll show you how to place it on the other side of the dress. So you could add the elastic. So I'm highlighting it with the arm um, chalk. And then I'm going to just flip the dress over a little and just do the marking on the other side. So I can connect um, the marking. So go ahead and you do the same as I am doing here. So I will mark this again. But as I said, I'm not putting the elastic again, but I'm just showing you what you can do if you want to put a waist elastic to pull your own in. But I don't want any elastic. So mark the other line. And make sure they line them straight now this fabric i have this fabric about two about three years now and i didn't know what to sew with it and then this dress come, came in my mind so i said yes i will sew this dress with it so now that you finish marking your um your fabric now what we're gonna do we're gonna take in so as you see i take a look taking a next half inch on mine because the it was still a little too wide on the hip. So I go ahead and I take in the half inch. Now you go and try on yours. And if your own is okay, well then you don't have to do this section that I am doing here. I'm doing this section because I don't want my hip to have a bulge at the hip. So slow it down if you want to take it in like I am doing here back stitch and then go and try and back your dress and see what the dress look like now if you like the, the fit of the dress 
go ahead and sort your dress overlap your dress and then i'm gonna straight up the bottom of this dress because when i try on the dress it had a little long and short so i don't want it to be long and short so i'm cutting off the longer piece of the bottom of the dress so i could get an even dress back to So now I'm checking the dress to make sure that the bottom is even. But I'm still seeing that I have a little high part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold the dress in half. Make sure you pin arm hole to arm hole, arm shoulder to shoulder. And make sure the neck line up so that you can cut the bottom of the dress even. So go ahead and pin your two shoulder, to, your two shoulder together and pin the arm holes together and make sure the dress is straight and flat on the table so you see i pin in my um two shoulders i pin the arm hole so that i can lay flat on the table and i could cut out this dress cut out the bottom of the dress and lay it square instead of hanging long and short so go ahead and do that So lay your dress flat on the table, make sure it line up properly as I am doing here. And when you're done, you're going to cut out this dress bottom. Make sure your dress straight, you know, properly. Because if you don't make sure this thing is straight and make sure everything lie down flat, you're going to get, you're going to cut your dress bottom wrong. So as you see in here, I'm making sure that everything is okay with the bottom of the dress and it's square enough so that I can square off this dress and make the bottom even so as you can see I am measuring here but this ruler is not giving me what I need so I have a simple tool here I'm going to show you what I use to measure off the bottom of my dress I tried two ruler and I didn't like what I'm getting so I'm going to grab this tool even the bottom of the dress I the top I try but when I look I see the bottom of the top it won't give me a straight bottom even though I mark it out I still won't get a straight bottom so you have to come up with what you think is best for lining this off I was looking for my two inch ruler so I will make one straight line but I didn't find it so what I will do I'm going to straight this dress but still i find the line wasn't all that for me even though you see i'm cutting it here but i still didn't find that was straight enough so i have a tool here i'm going to use which is this folder i love using this folder for straighten the bottom of my dress or even a top because this um, folder have a straight in now this is an ordinary folder you pick up at a stationery for put paper or file or your child project in now I purchased this to put a project in and this folder come in very loving for me. I really happy with this folder and I'm gonna use that in my sewing project for so um straighten any top or bottom or any fabric that I need because the folder did a wonderful job in straight in giving me a straight bottom. As you can see, look at the bottom, very straight. So what I'm going to do, we're gonna fold the bottom of the dress and after we don't um overlap the dress. You're gonna hem the bottom of your dress so i will hem the bottom of my dress um five eight of an inch because i don't want a big hem on my dress i just need a pin hem so i will surge the bottom of my dress and then i'm going to just do the pin hem on my dress so you're gonna pin the bottom of your dress right away wrong and as you see me here measuring and continue measuring is because i want an even my dress should be even right away wrong i don't want when i finish sewing it up and I, um i just pin while and then when you look the bottom of the dress is not even so you have to take your time sewing is all about patience and time so you're gonna pin the dress and then you're gonna put it under your sewing machine that i do here and now you're gonna sew the bottom of your dress right away wrong as you can see i'm doing here now if you guys like this dress and you want to see more of this quick dress tutorial or anything quick you can let me know at the bottom of this video and i'm going to do more quick 
um, tutorial to you so you guys can get a steady tutorial so if you like this video please let me know in the bottom in the comment so go ahead and sew around um, the dress bottom and then you're gonna get you're gonna do the arm hole you're gonna do the arm hole the same way and you're gonna do the neck the same way you're gonna sew all your them hem all of them but remember when you're hemming the arm hole and the neck you have to leave an opening for put the elastic so this is the bottom of the dress we don't know we're gonna do the um arm hole and we're gonna do the neck so pin your look for the arm hole and then we're gonna pin it so i'm gonna pin mine here i'm making sure that my neck is wide enough so that my head can go in all right so since i use the front of the top to cut this dress because i didn't cut it with the back of the top i use the front of the top the pattern the pattern bodice um front and i cut both the back and the front with the one pattern so the back and the front have the same neckline so I'm checking, making sure to make sure that my head will be able to pass through, which my head will be able to pass through the neckline that I cut. So line up the dress here. And I'm just making sure it's okay for me. So fold your armhole or your neckline, whichever one you, you have to sew and then you're gonna sew it together but remember when you're hemming your arm hole and the neck hole leave about one inch open to insert the elastic because remember elastic going into the arm holes and it also going into the neck now i just place the elastic in my neck for giving a nice um scoop up looking neckline like a little gather in front but my um my neckline didn't need the elastic but I did just want this kind of gather look in front of my um, top from my neck coming right down to my boss here. I did just need this nice gather. It just looks so nice. So that's why I put the elastic into the dress neck. But the dress neck didn't need the elastic. But if I did just want that look. So now as you finish hemming one, you're going to go ahead and you're going to hem the other one as well as I am doing here. So go ahead and hem both your arm holes and your neckline and leave the um, inch open so or a half inch open or how much ever you want to leave open so that we can insert the elastic into it to give it this nice look that we have. So go ahead and continue sewing. So now I'm going to zoom in my camera a little so you can see a little closer. Guys, when I telling you this is a lovely dress, this is a lovely fabric. If I find any more Orion lightweight fabric, I would be surely buying a couple of yards. Because I never know this dress could have flow so nicely and sit so nicely. I get so much compliment to this dress. I tell you one um, guy tell me that he love the dress. He asked me if I sew the dress, I tell him yes. He said he love, love, love this dress. I get so much compliment to this dress. And this was just an easy and quick um, dress that I knock up to go to a meeting I had to go to. And I find the dress torn out very well. So what I am doing here, I am folding in half inch on my arm hole because I am using a quarter inch elastic. And I will show you the elastic that I am using in my dress. So go ahead and pin your arm hole. Pin both your arm hole and sew it together on the neck. And leave the half inch or an inch open for insert the elastic. So as I was telling you about the fabric, why is I'm pinning my arm hole? I'm gonna tell you a little about this fabric. This fabric is soft. This fabric drape well. And I love the print. The print is not too big, it's not too small. The prints them just fit in the right places. Now I love the color of the print. 
you know it just come and it fit in so neat like you got the orange you have the yellow you have the blue you have the black you have the light green did you know the print just fit in very very nice it made the fabric the background of the fabric look so so nice so that's what why that's what catch my eye when i saw this fabric is the print look really really nice and as i said i had this fabric in my stash about three years ago so that's why i use it to do the simple and cute little dress so it's a wonderful fabric now this um i'm gonna put some photo and i'm gonna model this dress for you at the end let you see what the dress look like the dress fit me very very nice you will see at the end where i'm going to give you a little modeling of this dress so what i'm doing here now i'm stitching down my armhole and i'm going to leave one inch to half inch open so that i can insert the elastic so get your machine and you stow down both armhole and the neckline and don't forget to leave the inch or the half inch open so you can get the elastic in so go ahead and finish stitching off your arm arm hole and your neckline as you see i do in here now i'm going to style this dress with a nice necklace maybe i will use a coral necklace i have a gold and white but the coral necklace is more white so i'm going to style this dress with a coral necklace and i'm going to have a coral drop ease ring which i want to wear this dress with and i have a nice afro looking kind of wig i want to put on with this dress and with a kind of um the shoe is a kind of shoe close to one of the flower like the orangey kind of flower on the dress so i want to um wear that with that dress and see how it will look i like to just make simple clothes and style the pieces with my jewelry and fix up my hair and my face and then boom you have a nice look so i will show you some photo at the end of this video of this dress how this dress looks so cute right and how you can make a simple dress and you add your accessories to it and how great this dress would look it would look very expensive it wouldn't even look like if it's you um sew this dress it would look like if it's something red made right so when you finish doing this we're gonna iron this dress so i'm going to move my machine and i'm going to set my iron and what i'm doing here i'm going to iron down the armhole iron down the neck right and i'm going to make it flat so when i go to insert the elastic it won't got anything stopping the elastic from going through so grab your iron and let's press down the armhole of this dress and make sure everything lies smooth and flat and then you're going to press down the neck of the dress as well to make sure everything lies smooth and flat so continue doing this so that everything could lie smooth and flat so when you done um put that in for it lie smooth and flat you gonna have a nice um flat armhole and a flat neckline so that you can insert the elastic into so when you grab your elastic you won't have any bulge right in the dress so for stop the elastic from going in now the elastic I'm going to use to run in this dress, it would be a quarter inch elastic. So you're going to get your quarter inch elastic and you're going to get um, a pin and you're going to run through this elastic through. After you finish um, pressing this dress. Okay, I'm, I am, what I'm doing here now, I'm going for the elastic because the elastic is a little way from me so i think is the elastic i am trying to get the elastic there so that i can um put this um so that i can do the elastic for the dress so 
continue uh, measuring and see what happened here just now is that my iron the hose drop out from where the water just seep through and the water was seeping onto my ironing board so i take a little while as you can see i, I in the video that my iron was um, leaking water from the plug that plug out where did um, the send the water to the iron so i insert it back so don't get alarmed it's just the plug-in that was i was trying to fix there so go ahead and continue ironing your fabric your, your armhole cut any loose thread right if you have any loose thread cut the loose thread then that you have and put the back on the ironing board and iron it properly now ironing this properly is a good flat wing so you won't have um any problem when you're ready to insert the elastic so make sure it iron down flat now get the hem of your dress as i am the iron as i am at the ironing board i'm gonna take this opportunity to iron down everything as you see me doing this so when i finish this dress i don't have to do too much ironing i like to iron my clothes when i press in it so when i finish it would look very neat and i don't have to do too much ironing again into this from this arm dress so go ahead and press your dress iron down your dress properly so that it can look neat and nice so i take in the opportunity since i have the iron right here and the ironing board right here to press it down now look the elastic that i'm using is a quarter inch elastic and i just cut out a long piece of elastic now I, I try to grab this tool here this is a big needle where you just do a poultry with and i find when i insert an elastic with um with this this insert the elastic very nicely but for this project this was the wrong tool i took i had to get a pin since it's the armhole i tried to insert the elastic this tool was too long to go through the armhole so i had to um cut out back the elastic and use a pin now you will see me trying to insert it with this tool but mm -mm, it ain't making it so before i go the dress since this is a lightweight rayon i didn't want to force the issue to bore the fabric or cut out any trade out of the it you see as it, it feeding through nicely but as the hole get the the, the arm hole get smaller it could not have go any more it's gonna come wrong to insert because as you can see it get tighter so what i have to do here now is take out back this tool cut back the elastic and grab a pin and pin it on back so as you see i pull out back the tool and i'm going to get a pin and i'm going to insert this elastic the pin is very small so you won't able to see it on the table because it's one of them small pin like what has come on tag on clothes that's all that I had on hand. So I'm going to pin the elastic and I'm going to tube it back to the armhole from where I started so that I can pull up the armhole to make a nice elastic um, armhole so that I can get this nice elastic look that I'm looking for. So cut your elastic and get a pin and tube the elastic through the opening that you need the one inch or the half inch opening tube it uh, through right as you can see i am doing here now this is an easy quick and simple dress you don't need too much of big um with this fabric especially with this fabric we're already pretty as you can see this is a very pretty fabric this fabric don't need no big style because the print alone is what would make the fabric stand out. Because putting this print in a fancy style, you won't even see the style because the print would cover the style. So I feel print clothes should go in just simple style where you could see the print, how the print look. Because putting it in all these wrap and all these things, you wouldn't see the beauty of the fabric. The style, you won't even know, see the style, right? Because the print would overpower the style. So these pretty fabric, all they need is just a simple design and they would look perfect. 
it would look like if you make some mix style with this USB card. People think it's some mix style of dress I make is a simple, easy, and quick dress that get get me so much compliment. Sometimes the simplest clothes you make is what is getting more comp um the more um notice, right? And the more compliment you would get with the most simplest clothes. So I am sorry the elastic, but I didn't make bring it right away to my armhole. I leave a little bit so that when I go and try on the dress, I could pull the elastic to the length the, to how much ever I need. Pull up the elastic to suit me. I don't land the underarm the, the too tight. Right, I want the underarm so I could be able to move it up and down. So I don't want the underarm too tight. So as you see here, I tie it. And then I will go and I pull in the elastic to suit me. So go on, um, after you insert your elastic, try it on. And then you try it on and then pull the elastic to suit you. However tight you want it, however slack you want it. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to stitch down the opening. Now I'm trying to send the knotted elastic in so I can stitch down the opening for the dress. So I'm using the same uh, big needle to send it down in to the fabric. The, and then I'm going to stitch down the opening that I, did le that I leave open to insert the elastic. So go ahead and do the same thing. And then you're going to insert the elastic and stitch down the opening. So you can close the opening with the elastic go through. So grab your sewing machine and you're going to do that. Okay. So clip any loose thread because you don't want having thread on your dress. When you're ready to put it on, you want it to look seamless smooth and neat it mustn't look like home sewing clothes it must look like if you purchase this dress from the store right now i will see if i get a next piece of nice rayon fabric because as i said the fabric light and the fabric feel good so i love working with this rayon is something i never like because i always find it too much of a lightweight fabric but this one have a little body to it. That's why I decide to purchase it and keep it. Now, uh, the re I'm stretching the armhole here to make sure that I have the two armholes is the same amount. And since I am happy with it, right, I'm going to insert the knot and I'm going to stitch the opening. I love simple, easy, and quick. So now that you finish with your dress, with the elastic in, so the elastic. Now this piece of fabric, I have two pieces of fabric left. So I'm trying to see which one to cut the band with here because I need a band for this dress. So I'm weighing out this fabric, I'm measuring it out, seeing if it's going to do because I need to cut this on a fold. And I'm trying to see how long this belt will be. I don't want the belt too long, I don't want the belt too short. At least the belt must be able to go on my waist and still have maybe about four to eight inches, right? Hang down so that you can get this nice tie so that for, on the dress with the bow. So I'm trying to see if this fabric could work for me. But since that don't work for me, I have a longer piece. So I grab this long piece and I'm going to fold it in half. And this here. For me going to work for the belt that I need. This have the right length and it have the right width. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to line it up and then I'm going to shape up it to get the belt. Now the belt cut about um about four inches. The belt cut about four inches. I cut the belt, so it's going to be okay right here. So I um cutting out the excess fabric that I don't need. So this length going to do for me. So I'm going to fold it right side to right side and I'm going to stitch it to end and then I'm going to stitch it long way down. So I'm going to stitch one end and then I'm going to come wrong length way as you see me doing here. And I'm going to make sure 
the belt line up properly the two fabric line up so that I can just sew a simple and easy belt now this belt that I have here I make the fabric cut on a fold I put it on a fold as you see I was doing and the fabric is about eight inches so when I fold the fabric I gonna end up with about four inches and then I'm going to stitch that and make the belt so stitch down the two sides there we fold the fabric the um, right side to right side and stitch down the sides and you're gonna stitch down the um, the two end of the band now what I'm doing here we're gonna leave the middle section open for this band so leave a one inch uh, middle section open as I want I would leave the opening in the middle of the fabric the band so that I can turn the belt over I don't want to leave it in the end because I don't want to go back and have no stitch in the end of the belt so I leave the a middle section open about one inches in the middle of this band you can see when I am um, turning the band where I left the opening so look for the opening as you see I do here since the fabric so dark the opening will be a little tough for fine but you will find it because you leave an opening for it so look for the opening and you turn the dress so I find the opening right here and here is where I'm going to turn over the dress not the dress sorry I'm going to turn over the band right and then I'm going to press the band so I use in this little tool but the tool keeps slipping so I'm going to use my scissors to do this um, section here to turn it as you can see I'm using my scissors so I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to turn the band over and find the opening in the middle section I'm going to find the opening and I'm going to turn this band over to the right side so turn the band over you see I leave the opening in the middle for the band so insert the other side and we're going to turn this band over like I'm doing here now what you're going to do make sure all the ends come out and then you're going to press this band so go ahead grab your iron and you're going to press this band and you're going to press the dress over as well so make sure all the ends make sure your band come out the ends them come out neat because you don't want when you're ready to tie the band if they're on the side so press your band as you see i doing here go ahead and press it and press it neat take out a little strain and make sure everything line up neat guys this is a simple easy dress if you guys make this dress please let me know link a picture in the bottom for the comment let me see that you make this dress in whatever color whatever fabric you make it in let me see your creation if i inspire you and you like this video let me know down below leave the comment down below this video right so i can know well you enjoy this tutorial now i'm taking my time out of my work schedule to do this quick tutorial for you and guys if you didn't check out my website yet tamarafashionstyles.com you can go there and check out if you want to learn to sew more and want to sew more advanced um, sewing go there and check it out and you can purchase the classes it have two classes so far on the website and you can go and purchase refresh your skills learn to draft the patterns from scratch and you can go ahead and start designing now on that website it have two classes available so far but more classes will be coming every month and in the future we'll be doing different design right we will be styling sleeves styling neckline show you how to make um pants pants suit dress and these things so guys finish pressing your dress 
and then I'm going to model this dress for you guys to see what this dress look like so let me give you a little modeling I'm going to try on this dress and let me give you a little modeling to see what this dress look like so guys here is the finished dress now this dress cute look I look how cute this dress is now I style this dress with a uh, um, pearl is ring I had I have and a pearl necklace and with a shoe close to one of the print on the dress now this dress is cute I am confident I am pleased and I'm happy the way this dress turned out really really happy look at this dress guy look how cute and sweet this maxi dress look so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial I hope I was able to make it simple easy and quick for you and I'm happy thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial bye